praise the Lord, mightiest prophet of the Lord. Amen. Now, uh, well, the Lord has spoken with me. The Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. And I know there are big celebrations going on in this country right now on the resurrection of the corpse, the dead body, the dead corpse that uh, is now Rosa, who is walking. But the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me about the nation of Kenya. Jehovah, Jehovah Elohim Hamele, the righteous judge. Jehovah Hashofet, he has spoken with me about the nation of Kenya and about the coming elections. Well, um, I see people running and throwing stones. I see people running and police chasing people and people running. I see a situation, people throwing stones and people running. I see a state of chaos. And in another dream again, I see a community that is is being herded out, is 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 passing through another community. But uh, there's so much evil and uh, and, 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 and mayhem. And then... uh, yeah, in the second dream, I see a community that is, is being chased from a place. So they're passing through another community, and there's hostility uh, between the two communities that I see in the dream. And today I saw again stones, people running with their children, fearing gunfire and all this, running, there was a situation. So... I see, and then the third dream, I saw that darkness cover the land, but Kenya somehow makes it through. She's able to pass through to the other side uh, beyond the dark day. So um, the message to Kenya is very simple. The revival of Jehovah is in this land. The revival of the Lord, the most historic revival in the entire history of the earth, since the earth was created, the most historic revival in the history of the Bible, since the Bible was written, is in this land. And nobody ever, all over the earth, nobody ever created by Jehovah can claim they don't know this. Nobody created by the Lord can ever claim they don't know that the highest revival the most historic revival ever since the Bible was written, ever since the church was created, ever since the earth was created, is happening here now. No one can claim ignorance on that. And number two, Kenya knows very well that before the violence of 2007, December 2008, January, I gave the prophecy of that violence all the way from 2004, 2005, 2006, and 2007 December at Kapkatet. And I warned the nation, and I told Kenya, repent. Repent because I've seen perilous days ahead of you, bad days in front of you. And nobody can claim ignorance on that either. And all people know that 2013, there was going to be bloodshed if the Lord did not use his mightiest prophet to intervene at Uhuru Park and call the entire nation into one sacred holy assembly, repentance, national repentance, and reconciliation and peace. 2013, and the Lord prevailed and saved Kenya. So Kenya knows where to go in order to see peace, in order to surpass this big dark day ahead of them here. Nobody in Kenya, young or small, small, young or old, small or big, can never claim they do not know who to go to to find peace 
Nobody in Kenya can claim that they are not aware that the mightiest prophet of the Lord is in, the, is in this land. And if they want peace, they go to him. And he will talk to Jehovah, his God. And peace will prevail. And you cannot go to another. If you go to another, the Lord will see contestation and you will be in trouble. As a nation. Everybody knows that. Nobody can claim ignorance on that. They know whom to go to. They know he's available. They know how to approach him. They know how to appear before him and put forth their plea, their supplication before him. And they know very well he can speak directly to Jehovah and save the nation. That's everybody in this land knows. Nobody can claim ignorance in this land. Never. Never ever. And so the Lord has spoken with me about a dark day in front of you here. But you know where to go to that there may be remedy and mitigation. I am here. I even canceled all my mission. I was traveling at the same time. And I said, no, I need to be in the land. Otherwise, Kenya can pour. I need to be here. The presence of God needs to be here. During the elections. So God has spoken. Jehovah has spoken. Jehovah Sidhenu. Jehovah Shama. Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Ori. He has spoken again that there is a dark day ahead of Kenya here. And Kenya needs to seek God. And they know how to approach me so I can talk to the Lord. 2013, if I did not intervene, blood was going to flow. That was obvious. I had seen the dream also. Even now, let Kenya approach the Lord and this beautiful country, this most glorious revival nation, will see even greater revival. The dead has resurrected here, not any other country. You cannot claim ignorance. And you cannot ignore the servant of the Lord in the land. You cannot. The Lord will see contestation and he will hurt you. And that's why I would like to say that the celebrations on the resurrection of Rosa must continue from tonight. And for those who are in this ministry, I have covered you. I took final authority and covered you with the blood of Jesus, nothing will happen to you. God will preserve you. But for the rest of Kenya, you know where to go to. You know how to find, find me. You know how to find me and sit with me. And then I will speak to the Lord. I will convene a sacred assembly at Uhuru Park again. And the entire nation will gather there. You know that very well. The authority God has given me. But for the rest, in the ministry, I have covered you. I took final authority today. When the Lord spoke to me in the dream, I took final authority and covered you all with your children, with your churches, with everybody, with your businesses and name it, with the blood of Jesus. But for those out there, the Kenya, they know how to find me. May the Lord bless you as you seek wisdom, Kenya, and find the servant of the Lord. Shalom.